Welcome back, 2024. It's been a little while, took a couple weeks off of fishing. I was a little bit under the weather and then also just the holidays, was busy with other stuff. So it feels like forever since I've been fishing. And today we're making our first trip out of the new year, 2024. Friendly reminder, get your new fishing licenses, report cards, all that stuff. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, yeah, you can see you can see on the kayak no rods and reels so i guess technically we're fishing we need a fishing license to do this um, but a little bit different than the standard fishing that i'm normally doing today we're going to be throwing this guy right here get it out. This. and related to that i actually have a couple announcements for you all uh, something new that I'm doing I haven't done uh, on the channel yet ever so uh, something new I'm trying for this year but we'll talk a little bit more about that later today first I'm gonna go try and find some herring so every year in the San Francisco Bay I'm pretty sure it's in the millions millions of little tiny herring little bait fish swim into the San Francisco Bay to come in and spawn and they come into these little like bays well actually they spawn all over the San Francisco Bay but uh, this bay in particular seems to have a fairly consistent spawn every year and it's a perfect opportunity to throw the cast set and you can load up on enough bait to basically last you a full season even someone who fishes a lot like i do you know one limit of herring uh, is plenty enough for a full year of fishing and herring are great for all kinds of different fish so you can catch a halibut or one of my main targets that i use these herring for but i mean you can catch link cod salmon Crab, Dungeness crab, lobster. I, I feel like you know you probably catch striper, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure like anything you know, that I can think of, at least as far as game fish, will eat a herring. So, anyways, yeah, they're a great all-around bait for all kinds of different uh, game fish around here. And today, I'm honestly not super optimistic. I mean, I don't see like a full, I don't think there's going to be a full spawn going where they really clump up and you can get a full net of, you know, like 50 herring in one throw. But there are a bunch of birds flying around. I don't know if you can see in the background. They're kind of cruising around. So and I see a couple actually diving over here. So I think there's definitely herring in the water. I'm marking a few here. Um, uh, so I think we can net a few, maybe not a ton. But yeah, you know, we're talking stove over here. Oh, and they're also great eating. Especially the bigger herring, fried up. Really good source of nutrients, really good for you. A lot of healthy oils and all that stuff. I don't know, I'm not a nutritionist, but uh, yeah, from what I hear, they're really good for you and very sustainable. See right here, big concentration of birds. There's definitely some around here. Maybe not a huge school, but you know, once a couple of birds picks off a couple of these herring, all the friends start to kind of swarm in that area. All right, we'll just start throwing the net. I don't really see a huge concentration of them here or anywhere, but um, let's just start throwing and see, see if we can find a couple of these tasty little morsels. So this casting right here is made by Promar. And I'll tell you where you can get one of these at a good price. Uh, towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that but so this is a seven foot net with three eighths inch uh, square mesh so perfect size for these uh, herring they definitely won't be able to swim through this if you use the smaller mesh it won't sink as fast and then you won't obviously catch as many um, but if you use too big of a mesh then the herring will swing right swim right through so three eighths inch is perfect it said this says it's perfect for any bait size from one to five inches, which is probably correct. Some of these herring are gonna be a little bigger than that, but let's unravel this. In my opinion, if you're just starting, it's uh, a little bit easier to start off with a little bit smaller net, maybe a net from like four to six feet. Um, that'll still allow you to catch some herring and it'll be a lot easier to throw. Um, these bigger nets, I mean, there's no limit on the size of a net you can use. So, I mean, some people use like 10 footers, 12 footers, I don't know, like huge nets. Um, but I'm not quite that advanced. I've thrown it a few times, but I'm not like a pro at it. So anyways, I think the seven foot is like just above beginner level. But if you've never done it before, I suggest starting off with like, yeah, in the four, somewhere in the four to six range, I think is good. Um, just so you can get the hang of throwing the net. Because honestly, for me, it took me a little while to figure out how to throw these things and I'm definitely not a pro now, but I'm a little bit better than when I started at least. So 
Anyways, first things first, I'm gonna tie one end of the rope to my wrist and I'm gonna do it kind of loosely, just in case like a seal or something swims into the net, that'll fall off. It won't, it's not gonna pull me in and you know, drag me underwater. Then we get all the rope, coil it up into my right, I'm right-handed, so if you're left-handed, it's all gonna be opposite. But anyways, for me, get all the rope into my right hand and I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see how this first one goes. But anyways, then you get the top of the net. I think this is called the horn of the net or the shoe. I don't remember, I think it's the horn. Anyways, grab that in my right hand, go about halfway down, grab that again, and then a little farther. And then we have this, so just shake this, make sure it's not tangled up. And then I just take one piece of the net, throw it over my shoulder, throw it over my shoulder again, do three times, and then that's the position to throw. And to throw, you kind of want to throw it like a frisbee because you want that, I think it's centripetal force or whatever, I don't know, I'm not a science guy, but anyways, you want it to spin so that the net opens up wide and falls as wide as possible. So let's see if we can do that now. Let's see if we can get a wide, wide angle here. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, that was pretty good. Not bad for my first throw. So then, once you throw it, obviously, you want to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Then once it gets there, pull it up. And if you're lucky, there'll be some herring in there, but we didn't get any that time. So we drifted kind of off the spot where I saw them before. So let's get back on them, see if we can find us a herring. Bad. No herring yet, but if you can see here, this is the eelgrass, and this is what one of the things that these herring love to spawn on. So I don't know if you can see those eggs on there. It's not totally loaded. Sometimes when the herring spawn is like really thick, these you know, gr this grass like this is just like covered with eggs. Um, so there's some on there. That's what I was saying earlier. I don't think it's like a full herring spawn, but I think there's some fish around. Today wasn't the day for the herring. I searched around for the last so I've been out for like a couple hours and never found it. Well, I did see some herring. There was some, I was marking some on the finder and then a couple of times the birds were diving on some schools, but they were very sporadic. It was like probably smaller schools. I want to say they were like dozens of fish or we're looking for the schools with thousands, if not millions of herring. Um, so didn't find it today, but uh, to be honest, I just wanted to come out here and just check out the scene. I think maybe the tides are off a little bit, so I'm thinking maybe next week when the tides are flipped, you know, there's a high tide around this time. Oh, I just saw a herring jump right there. So I was hoping I would get lucky, maybe find a few, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case today. But anyways, it was good practice to come out here and throw the net. I haven't thrown it since last season, so when the real school comes in, I'll be ready. But before then, I want to circle back around and talk about what I was referencing in the beginning of the video. This year, I'm gonna be working with a few companies, and the first one I'm gonna be working with is Promar. And Promar makes this cast net that I'm throwing today. I know I didn't catch any on today, but it's definitely not because the cast net didn't work. This is a great cast net. Obviously, I can already tell when the herring spawn happens, this thing is gonna catch some fish. Um, hopefully, I can show that to you here in a little bit in this video. But regardless, I'm excited to be working with Promar. They make a ton of great products. And the reason I never did any brand ambassador stuff or pro staff stuff before, uh, it's because I never wanted to recommend on my videos any gear that you know I wouldn't use personally if it wasn't getting paid for it. And I'm not really getting paid for this either, but anyways, I'm going to be working with them this year. So anyways, Promar makes a ton of great gear. And uh, they've been nice enough to hook me and you guys up with an affiliate link and a promo code that for now, geez, we're just starting out, the promo code is going to be good for 20% off 
site wide. Anything on the site you see, you get 20% off. I'll leave the promo code uh, down in the description as well as the link to their website. They make obviously these cast nets that I, that I use today, all kinds of different sizes of those, but they also make all kinds of different stuff. Gaffs, nets, um, crab hoop nets. The hoop nets that I've been using for years for lobster and Dungeness crab, those are all made by Promar, um, as well as you know, different sizes of those. Some are more geared towards boat use, the bigger ones, and then there's the kayak ones that I use that are a little bit smaller. So I'll be showcasing way more of their gear as this year unfolds. Uh, but we're starting off with the cast net today, and if you're looking to get anything for crabbing, you know, nets, gaff, stuff like that, and all of that is 20% off using the promo code down in the description. So super excited to be working with Promar this year. That's for a limited time. Um, once that runs out, I'm not sure exactly how long, it might be a couple weeks or something. Uh, but once that runs out, the promo code and the affiliate link will be good for 10% off site-wide, unless they have some kind of sale running, um, in which case you'll get an additional 5% off whatever the sale price, you know, if they're running 25% off or whatever, you'll get an additional five using the promo code. So anytime you're purchasing anything from Homar, you know, it'll help out the channel as well as it'll save you a little bit of money um, by using that promo code, whether it be 5%, 10%, or 20% for a limited time. But in the meantime, we're gonna try and get some herring, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen today. So we're gonna go load up and I'll come back. Hopefully the next time you see me, the herring spawn will be going down. It's about, I don't know, a week or two after that first session out there on the kayak, throwing the cast net. And today, I was actually getting ready to go on a crabbing mission. You see, I got all my hoop nets here, buoys and all that stuff. Also made by Promar. Um, but I heard word yesterday that the herring were spawning. Um, so, if you know anything about herring, you gotta get on them right away. It's not something that you can just wait around and hope that they're still gonna be there a week from then. So, yesterday they got them. Hopefully they're again, there again today. I'll talk a little bit more out there, but I gotta get my kayak loaded up and you're ready to go. And by the way, I was planning to do a little crabbing video to announce this Promar announcement, but um, obviously you're seeing this video first. So you might see some double announcements here coming up when I release this crabbing video later. But anyways, we'll worry about that later. Let's go get some hair. All right, we made it. I drove around a little bit. I never launched in this area, so I didn't know if there was gonna be any boat ramps or anything. Um, it took me a little while, but I found this sweet little, basically like a mini boat ramp, perfect for kayaks. Check this out. So we got the water right here and look at this thing. It's like a little pathway, basically just wide enough for kayaks to drop me right down into the bay. You know, you can see there's rocks all along the shoreline here. So it was like impossible to drop my kayak. Well, I probably could have dropped my kayak in, but then getting it out would have been basically impossible with how heavy my setup is. But just wheeled this thing straight down the ramp here. And there it is, waiting for me. Let's get out there. It's always fun to launch a new area. That was a sweet little boat ramp, or kayak ramp, I guess you could call it. But anyways, we made it out here. I'm pedaling out, there's, or I'm motoring out. There's a ton of birds just littered all over the place here. And then um, I see a little concentration of boats over in this area. So that's where we're gonna head first. So like I was mentioning earlier, herring is like a super, like, on and off type bite or whatever not really a bite they're not biting anything but but anyways what i was gonna say is the herring spawn is not like a thing where you know it's fairly consistent it's like an on and off usually like two and three days two or three days in a row um it'll happen and then just totally shuts down and they all move out so uh super important to one have good friends that'll tell you when the bite's on and two just be right on top of it and ready to go which is why I had to cancel my crabbing trip today. I'm supposed to meet up with Ish out there, so sorry to Ish, but anyways. Um, yeah, it's super hit or miss, so we had to get jump on this thing, and who knows, you know, today might be the day that it's off and they, they're totally gone, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to go out there and check it out. And then also, uh, they said that yesterday, from the reports that I saw yesterday, the best time when the most, you know, biggest concentration of herring were there was between, uh, I think it was between 12 and like 2 p.m., something like that, which is right at the turn of the high tide. Um, so I'm anticipating that if today is in fact successful, today the best time will be from like 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. because there's that one hour delay each day from the tides, you know, shifting. The same, you know, the high tide's not at the same time every day. It usually delays, you know, give or take about an hour each day. 12.20 right now, so, 40 minutes until what I anticipate will be the best time, but 
you know, I wanted to come out here and get a lay of the land first just to you know, see if I can get them. And it seems like, you know, I see birds diving, I see people throwing nets, it seems like there's fish around already. Anyways, a lot of build up. I know this is, hasn't, there haven't been a single fish in this video yet, and I don't know how deep we are in, but if you stuck around till now, you're about to get paid off, or so I hope. So let's get out there and start throwing the net. One thing I didn't mention last time is I like to keep my space as clear from, you know, all my gear as possible. So in front of me here, there's nothing other than my fish finder. I almost like my fish finder in the car, because honestly, you know, if the spawn's happening, you could just tell you're not going to need to mark them on the fish finder, but I just brought it anyways because I like to have it. And just in case it's not like super wide open, it would be nice to be able to mark some schools of fish. But yeah, just like to keep this super clean because when I bring up the net, you know, everything's going to be flopping around and any little like, not hook, like fishing hook, but anything that kind of sticks out or whatever, it's going to get caught on that cast net and that just, you know, makes the whole operation less efficient. So. Um, cleared everything. I didn't bring any rods. I didn't bring anything other than like my safety equipment, basically a cast net and then the ice chest and my camera gear. So anyways, just a little tip if you're going to do it on a kayak especially, best to just keep the whole surface you know, as clean as possible. Alright, see how it happens. Bad throw. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. I have to go in a little bit shallower. There it goes. Let's see. Let's see if we got him. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what we're marking. Okay, that's not what we want. Bunch of, I don't know if there's a rainbow perch or what, but. No, I don't even think it's legal to keep these, regardless if we don't want them anyways. Alright, well the cast net works. I'm not even exactly sure if those are some kind of perch. There's some kind of perch. Let's throw these back. Alright. No skunk. Now we gotta find the herring. Alright, if there's herring there. That throw is going to get him. Yep, there's tearing. Two of them. Keep going. You're a lot better at that than I am. <laughs> it helps have a little bit bigger kayak. It's a little easier to stand. So that's on the bigger end of the herring. You'll see that's probably a big female. Probably full of eggs. And then these are smaller one that's that's maybe medium i think that's a male maybe a female, i'm not sure that's a future halibut right there let's keep throwing in here i mean five at a time is not great but better than nothing if we get bored maybe i'll head out to the deep side and i think out there we could probably net you know 30 40 50 we'd probably get a limit in like three or four poles or three or four throws Not bad. About 10, maybe a dozen. It also to have a big ice chest like this so you can just drop the herring right into the ice chest without having to pick them all up and knock all the scales off at the bottom of your kayak. Um, this way, just drop the net right in there. They all come out. This size right here, this is perfect for a California holiday in the bay. Hopefully I turn all of these into new halibut this season. Here's a little bigger one, maybe that'll be a bigger halibut. 
perfect bite size right here. Honestly, we're probably already at a half limit. I've only thrown like three or four times. Probably just throw a few more, load up, because you don't technically need a limit, which is, by the way, 10 gallons is the limit of pairing uh, per person. But, you know, might as well capitalize on this free bait while I'm out here. And I do a lot of fishing throughout the year, especially in the California, or in the San Francisco Bay for California halibut. Being a commercial fisherman, it's always nice to have some free bait, cuts down on expenses, and honestly, the ones you buy in the store, in my opinion, don't work as well as the ones that I pack myself. So, anyways, let's cast in a few more. I mean, you're like ending up with like buckets of 70 inch herring. Oh, that's out. Nope. I think maybe they're moving on out to the outside. I think we're gonna go head out there. <laughs> yeah, I prefer to get the smaller ones if I can. Honestly, the seven foot net's a little hard to manage on the kayak. If I had to recommend, I'd probably go with like a, a five footer or maybe six footer if you really want to push it. Um, just a little bit, like, because I have to really stretch to get the bottom of the net here. But anyways, it does help when you get a good throw and you get, you know, quite a bit of herring in there. So let's make one more throw here. I just locked it in on spot lock. And boom, now we're good. These things just keep me right off the jetty here. Almost like having another person on your kayak to operate the motor. That feels heavy. Said this a few times already, but just one more throw. <laughs> that was good. All right, that's a wrap for me. Herring spawn 2024 probably ended up with I don't know, maybe seven or eight gallons worth. Not quite a limit, but I mean, there's still it's still going on right now. I probably could stay out there and obviously get a limit, but the more you catch, the more you have to process. So I got a long night already ahead of me of processing all this. I'm gonna salt it, ice it vacuum seal it and all that and make sure it's good to go for halibut season and whatever else I want to catch with it um, but yeah that's a herring spawn when it happens it happens good to have good intel good friends out there and yeah if you guys want to get on some herring man you can come out here this honestly this spawn that I'm on now is definitely gonna be over by the time this video is out but uh, the herring spawn typically extends you know I think sometimes it goes into February so still some time to get out there and get some herring and if you're interested in getting you know, one of these uh, cast nets like I was using today, make sure you use that promo code so you can get an extra little 20% off uh, on your order. Or if you're looking to get some landing nets or what are gaffs, crab, crabbing gear, all that stuff, uh, you can all, all that's discounted via that promo code. Thank you to ProMarta for welcoming me into their pro staff. But uh, yeah, oh, one more thing. I'm also going to be at 
the uh, International Sportsman's Expo. I think that's what it stands for, ISC, which is in Sacramento. Uh, I think it goes three or four days on the weekend of the 20th and 21st. So I think it goes from like, it might even be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna be there on Saturday at the Promar booth. I'll probably be, you know, wandering around the rest of the show as well. But I'll be at the Promar booth for a good majority of the time. So if you're interested in stopping by and saying what's up, or if you're gonna be at the show, you know, come by and say hello. I'll be there. Um, as well as all the other vendors. It's a huge show. I mean, basically every tackle store in the area, as well as all these um, like resorts and a bunch of like, you know, like Alaska, places to go to Alaska, in Mexico, all kinds of places. Um, anything to do with fishing is typically there. Kayaks are there. Um, so anyways, if you're interested in checking it out, it's in Sacramento on the weekend of the 20th and 21st, and I'll be there on the 20th. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, I don't know what I'm off to next. Actually, probably gonna go finish up that crabbing expedition that I was supposed to go on today, but obviously when the herring's happening, you gotta go chase it. There's my bait. You'll be seeing that bait again later on in the season once halibut fishing starts picking up. So uh, until then, thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.